What is up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video today. We take a look in the brand new season 12 coming this week. Guys, four days left on the current season. The next season is going to start, usually it's the day after, alright guys? It's very, very rare that we have to wait. It did happen a few times, but usually when we have delays, it's on rank season reset. Now the next season is not a rank season reset. Now first thing I want to say guys is we start with good news about Battle Royale Alcatraz. Now I know you guys like Alcatraz a lot. It's super fast paced. It's always fun. A lot of action. Now people were asking because it says two days left. Can we please have permanently uh, Alcatraz? Is it going to stay forever? Now they confirmed today on Reddit Alcatraz will stay at least for season 12. They didn't say it's going to be here forever. But season 12, we still have Alcatraz. And they say, they look at analytics to decide. They say, if you like something, play it. Play, play, play. If they see players are playing it, they will keep it. Now, the problem, though, is the analytics may be flawed. Because this season, we had seasonal challenges. And they needed us to play a lot of isolated. Because the tank challenges, you had to find tanks. You had to destroy tanks. You had to get kills with tanks. And because of that, I played a lot of Isolated, and I would have played Alcatraz instead. So you give me Alcatraz, you tell me to play it, but then you give me challenges on Isolated. So like I said on stream, I love Alcatraz. I would play Alcatraz a lot more if I didn't have to play Isolated because of challenges. So anyways, that's out of the way. Guaranteed confirmation season 12 alcatraz is still here guys now let's go with the leaks or the teasers because we're gonna start with the season pass now, it's been the norm lately that we had four soldier skins on every season pass now this season pass is gonna be probably selling a lot because of one soldier yes we are getting urban tracker again season pass it's been here for the first time on season three correct me if i'm wrong a long time ago like almost a year ago now, a lot of new players never had a chance to have Urban Tracker, and it's a fan favorite, community favorite, for a couple of reasons. First of all, competitive scene is using this skin a lot, and we say not likely because of the hitboxes. Most likely, the hitboxes are the same for all characters. But the problem is, well, it's not a problem, but the reality is the characters have different shapes, different colors. And the female soldiers usually are a bit smaller, so they look smaller. Even if it's the same hitbox, I mean, maybe you don't spot them easy on the battlefield. Like, you would spot a big colorful skin. So that one is very popular, guys. And because of that, I say this battle pass is going to sell like a god church. <laughs> That's what they say, right? Uh, and then we see another soldier here. Uh, that one also been confirmed. We have another uh, artwork. Velican Megalith. I know you guys know more about that one than me now another thing you see on the picture is a uh, first gun reveal for the battle pass it's called type 25 infiltrate again like you guys know i'm not crazy about skins anymore unless it's a crazy remodel uh since we have grindable skins like gold platinum and hopefully we get a new one uh coming soon they said there was gonna be a final camo but i use my gold camos platinum and damascus now so i rarely or almost never use battle pass skins or whatever but i'm always excited for soldier skins so i'm definitely excited for these two skins and i don't know if there's gonna be two more right now that's all we got but it's been like many many seasons in a row for battle pass soldier skins so hopefully we're gonna see more in the next couple days now the next one is not a surprise it's been in the game already but it's not unlocked yet so usually when they give us new operators and new score streaks uh, usually it's through events, but you can see the ballistic shield here. Uh, it says stay tuned. So apparently it's coming next season. Uh, like all operators, it's something you can use. There's a cooldown. Now you really see in the back, there's a gun attached to it. So is it going to be an auto weapon, like auto pistol, like in other games? And you can hold the shield like that and move. So um, interesting for sure. Uh, we already have the defender shield. But that's nothing like it because of the mobility you can carry it with you and they posted that artwork uh, again uh, i think it's on instagram but i've seen it on reddit and then you see it doesn't look like what we have here so there's rumors out there that we might have two different shields one as an operator and one as a, a main weapon so again let me know in the comments what you have to say about that but you can see like seriously it is not the same artwork at all, 
the picture does not look like the operator skill in the game so could we have two different shields one that you could carry and one that you could use as an operator we will see very soon because like i said a couple of days left before the new season start now we got more stuff that is the second artwork picture from the second soldier again velikan megalit elite marksman i'm pretty sure this one's gonna be popular uh, nice swag and again the night vision goggles on the character now we talk about night vision a lot because the theme of the next season is going dark uh it's been shown in the comics i don't know if you guys read the comics in the game but the last picture of the last comic is uh price says going dark now going dark more news about that if you guys saw the community update we have a bit of a spoiler here again just want to talk about the final notes in the community post they say uh first of all there's going to be two new weapons okay so lately it's been one new weapon uh that is in the free battle pass and it's been one every season for a while now it's gonna be two they don't say anything some guys have spotted some stuff i'll talk about it later but what they say in the post in the last uh sentence they say the sun is getting real low and the last sentence is related to all of that Here's a picture of Summit. Now, why would they show Summit? Because they didn't talk about it, but they did talk about a new map. So apparently we might have a night mode Summit like they did on other maps in the past for Halloween. Uh, we also had a Christmas map, but I'm thinking we might have uh, maybe Battle Royale dark map and maybe Summit dark map. But this is uh, the first teaser for the new map. Now about the new map, there was a live stream today on the official COD Mobile YouTube and they show the new map as a surveillance camera and you can see something coming from the sky and then boom, no more signal. So it's been like that, it's been live for a few hours and you guys saw probably some, some screenshots. Uh, you can pause and resize and there's some hidden stuff. You can check out the Twitter also. Some guys have made video about it. There's a lot of speculations. They didn't confirm anything. But you guys might find some stuff about the new guns, maybe some new soldiers, and maybe more. So I'm not going to say more, going to leave it like that. And I'm sure we're going to have more teasers in the next couple days. They started doing this a lot now. Official YouTube, official Facebook, uh, and the Reddit, of course. So that's going to be it for now, guys. Lots of exciting stuff. Always excited for new season, past new season. It's not a rank reset again, but we're going to have a lot of new soldiers new seasonal events as always so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed smash like if you're excited for your new season don't forget to subscribe to my channel for daily cut mobile videos i will see you guys in the next one take care